All right, we're on page 32, and um, we've got these four questions here. We're multiplying these polynomials, whereas before we were adding and subtracting. So this is a little bit different. Go ahead and read that um, explore, or sorry, explain one section uh, like usual. Uh, but I'm going to jump into these first questions and kind of explain my way through them as we go along. So multiplying is, is a little bit different, right, um, in the sense that... Um, this is being multiplied with this and each thing inside is being multiplied too so i'm just going to rewrite everything uh, in one line and you'll see why in a second so i can expand that 3x as 3 times x and that's being multiplied to x squared y to the third power which is the same thing as x times x and uh, y to the third power is the same thing as y times y times y okay so by doing that I have that coefficient 3 <coughs> and then I have 3x's and then I have 3y's so if I rewrite this I should end up with 3 and then x to the third power and then y to the third power so there is my uh, simplified expression when I multiply 3x and x squared minus x squared y squared or x cubed y cubed or x squared y cubed sorry so question number two again I'm going to rewrite this um, let's use different colors so anyway I'm going to rewrite this in one line okay so I got 5 times a times a times a three times because of that exponent times b and that's being multiplied to 2 times a times b okay so let's start with um, the coefficients here 5 and 2 and then let's move on to the a's I got 1 2 3 4 a's who I don't like how close pink and red are let me change that color let's change it to green 1 2 3 and 4 then blue let's make this one orange or b make that orange so Okay, so the 5 and the 2. 5 times 2 is 10. And I have 1, 2, 3, 4 a. So a to the power of 4, they're being, being multiplied 4 times. And then uh, b is being multiplied 2 times. So here's my new expression 10 a to the 4th power, b to the 2nd power. Okay, question number 3. So let's rewrite this all over again. So 18 times y times y times x times x times x. Three times, because again, let's take a look at the exponents. Times z, and that's being multiplied to 3 times, okay, 8 of those. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then 6y, oh, I'm going to run out of room, um, times 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then that's being multiplied to z to the 4th power, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, so this and this are getting multiplied. And then... Uh, the y. Let's go with the x's first. I got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Those. And then um, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 of those y's. <coughs> and then lastly, and this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 z's. So let's rewrite all that. 18 times 3 is going to become 54. And I think I counted 11 x's before. Uh, x to the 11th power. And then the y's I counted was 8. Y to the 8th power. And let's say z to the 5th power. So now, <coughs> as you noticed, this took up quite a bit of room but for you eagle-eyed um, viewers out there what you should have noticed is you can just now just add the coefficient or the exponent sorry 
this and this becomes 11 this and this becomes 8 and 1 plus 4 becomes 5 so by now you shouldn't have to write it all out and from here on out I'm just gonna uh, cut to the chase and just uh, add the exponents of the of the variables with the same bases okay question number four okay so doing what we just learned I'm just gonna multiply the like terms so 2 and negative 4 gives me negative 8 and, in, and for the x's it's 1 plus 2 which gives me x to the power 3 here is y to the first power and another y to the second power so uh, 1 plus 1 is 2 so y to the second power and same thing for the z's so just like that we got negative 8 x to the third power y to the second power z to the second power okay so next page um, we're going to multiply a polynomial by a monomial. Go ahead and read that explain two section if you want. Um, but it's very much like the distributive property. Right? We're going to distribute that 5 to the two terms inside. So x times 5 is, whoops, x times 5 is 5x, and 5 times 9 is 45. All right, same thing with these. 2x and x squared, right? We just learned on the previous page that when you do this, you just add the exponents. So 2 and x to the first power plus x to the second, or times x to the second power, you just add those coefficients. 1 plus 2 is 3. And then negative 2x minus 6x. So negative 2 times negative, or sorry, 2 times negative 6 gives me negative 12. And then x, uh, add the exponents. 1 plus 1 is 2. And then 2x plus 2x times 3 is uh, 2 times 3 is 6, and then the x. There you go. All right, so negative 4x times x squared. So that's going to give me negative 4, and then there are 3x's. Since it's x to the first power times x to the second power, 1 plus 2 is 3. And then negative 4x times 8 is going to be negative uh, 32, and then just the x. Okay. Um, and then question number four. Uh, let's see, negative three is going to go with that uh, five, so it's negative 15. And then this is going to multiply with that. So there's nothing to kind of combine there. So you're just going to rewrite this as a positive 3x squared. And then lastly, negative three times positive 2 is going to give me a negative 6 and then look we have like terms here so let's combine those 3x squared is that first one and then negative 15 plus negative 6 is going to be minus 21 or add plus 21 either way okay so question number 5 uh, we're going to distribute that first one 2a squared times 5b squared so 2 times 5 is 10 a squared b squared, you just leave those alone. And then here, 2a squared times 3ab, 2 times 3 is 6, and then a squared and a are going to become uh, a to the third power, since 2 plus 1 is 3. And then there's no b, so we just leave that alone. 2a squared times 6a, so 2 times 6 is 12, a to the second power times a to the first power. 2 plus 1 is 3. And then lastly, 2a squared times 1 is uh, is just the same thing, 2a squared. Uh, and then, yeah, you can't simplify that anymore, so there's your new expression. Okay, last problem for this video. Negative 3x times 3x squared. Negative 3 times 3 is negative 9. And then uh, x times x squared is you got three x's there if you had the exponents. Next, uh, negative three x times six x. The negative three times six is going to give us a negative eighteen. X times x, well, one plus one is two, so x squared. And then lastly, this last one, negative five times negative three is going to be fifteen, and then there's no x except for that uh, one that we're multiplying with, so it's plus x.